now, I guess the question is, how do we want to style this app? I mean, because, you know, we don't want to have to spend a lot of time working on styling, preferably. Um, I agree. This app, yeah, the app doesn't have, like, much um, outside of standard CRUD operations. There's a little bit of stuff. So, like, form inputs would be important to not have to style, ideally. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of, like, what else. I guess we just want, like, a little nice UI framework, right, for React? I'd be down. Yeah. Is yeah. there anything that you've worked with recently that you like? Um, it's been a little while since I've used something else that was like on top of emotion. Um, generally I just use emotion. Uh, so I'd like to try something else out. Like either, I guess like what are the ones that are popular right now? Chakra is really popular. Mm -hmm. Um, is nice. Um, yeah. Hey, thanks for the follow. Hi, it's Mateo. How you going? It's Mateo, right? Yeah. Cool. Um, yes. What do you think about Chakra? Should we go look at it? I've 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 been loving Chakra recently, so that that's Let's that's like my my go to um, these days. Hey, awesome! Chakra. Thank you for the follow. Okay, Yo, thank so thank you, Arto Souza, my man. How do you spell it? It's a Chakra C H A K R A dash U I dot com. Yeah. Cool. Okay, built accessible React apps, websites with speed. I love it. Oh, yeah. accessible. Yes, thank you. Themable, awesome. Composable, yeah, it's React. Oh, okay, I've seen, okay. So, yeah, this is actually pretty similar. There is one I've used not too long ago. Was it System? Styled UI? System is, Styled is like system. really, really similar to, to this. They, they basically use the same Styled System box API. Okay. Okay. So, so if you're then, familiar yeah. with styled system, then then this is a great uh, a great option. Cool. Let's use Chakra. So then I'm gonna go to get it started. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we're using Yarn, so I'm just gonna copy all this. Sounds good. Okay. And well, I, uh, we have another terminal, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we'll yarn add and we'll take a look at it. Shocker UI core, emotion core. Oh, cool. That's right. It uses emotion, emotion style, emotion theming. So I'd also be mostly familiar just because I'm familiar with building on top of emotion. Okay. Yeah. In my Sweet. experience, it, the, the, it, it abstracts away a lot of the emotion stuff. Like you, you, you're, we're not actually going to be interacting with emotion, but cool. it is, it is kind of nice to, to, for, for a library like this to, use a really established styling solution for um for this kind of thing rather than like rolling your own yeah i agree okay so it did not like that <laughs> that's fine we'll uh yeah we i'll just restart. restart our build before we restart our build one thing that i'll mention yeah. is there's also a gatsby plugin for emotion I mean, a Gatsby plugin for Chakra, which okay. enables enables the server rendering of styles. So, uh, yeah, we'll just Gatsby plugin Chakra UI. Like so? You got it. And to Sweet. get this set up, we're going to add a new file. We currently Gatsby don't config. have one. Yeah, let's, let's open that. Gatsby config. All right. My deals. <laughs> um, and then this would be plugins, mm -hmm. which is an array. And then because the, do we need to pass any configuration? Um, so you don't. They have they have defaults, but for our purposes right now, um, let's. Well, let, let, let's just use it as is, and um, like with, I, with the defaults, and uh, okay. and then we can we can change it up if we need to later. Okay. Um, one Chakra. of the defaults that that I typically turn off is they um, they have like automatic color mode switching um, oh. depending on your um, well. If you don't run with the default, I don't want to run with the default. Okay, okay. You, Here, you I'll, know I'll more you... than me. So <laughs> I imagine it looks like that. 
Yeah, exactly. And it's basically, um, I think it's use color mode false. Let me just double check. Yeah, do um, your thing. Plug in so, Chakra UI. If anyone is not familiar, what we're doing now is uh, Gatsby is a framework that supports plugins. And so by creating this config file and adding a plugin section section to the exports, uh, Gatsby will now look here for our plugins. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So the it is using color mode false. Okay, so yeah. we'll and, save and this. The the for anybody who's unfamiliar with with Gatsby as a framework, like one of the one of the big promises of it is that uh, it it'll uh, statically render your app. Now, one of the side effects of that is that because a lot of uh, the the packages and things that we use um, are mainly focused on providing in browser or like client side functionality they there there's sometimes uh unwanted side effects on the server render side so so a great example is when you're using a css and javascript styling solution uh it'll it'll automatically load your styles in the client when when the browser loads your page but it doesn't automatically take in or or, or um, take into account the server rendered version of your site and you're going to want to compile all your css rules and um and make that css available to the uh, the browser immediately when when the html loads as well and so that's Got where it. that's where um plugins come in come in handy another great example of one is um is react helmet where you want to affect the the, the page title of a page or, or a meta tag um, but you want to do so in the browser and in the static build. So the way that when you're using a lot of these things, there's typically uh, a Gatsby plugin companion to a lot of the popular um, JavaScript NPM packages that, that we use. Um, while we're on that subject, what do you think about adding React Helmet to our app and, and just giving our, giving our app a page title? I feel like yeah. that's something we'll want to do anyway. Absolutely, we should definitely add Helmet, right? Because there'll probably be an associated marketing or landing page, right? And uh, we'll, we'll want a title and we would want yeah. like SEO. And if people shared it, we would want a nice like um, social, you know, card using the OG tags. I think that would be yeah, most wise of us. <laughs> so cool. I'm just gonna go in here and say Yarn, add React Helmet. And then like I was mentioning before, with a lot of the the popular uh, React or JavaScript libraries out there, um, there's usually a Gatsby plugin dash your library name here equivalent. Right. So this in this case, Gatsby plugin React Helmet. And again, this this will ensure that all of my title tags that I define in my app, uh, they also are reflected in the in the statically built server render. Exactly, I love it. So we'll just add another entry here saying Gatsby plugin React Helmet, and we don't need to give this any extra configuration. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, yeah, cool. So I think we're ready to run this again, right? I think so. So yeah, let's go ahead and yarn start this thing. Uh, we have that script. Thanks to Trevor. Thank you, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that was super fast because it's already got the cache. So, oh, there we go. I was like, oh, it's done. There we go. Now it's done. All right. Beautiful. So we'll just jump back over real quick. Uh, just to, you know, so here we are. And now look, this is interesting. So we've installed Chakra and we're using it. Um, but because we haven't like gone in and wrapped anything in Chakra components, it's a, it looks like it's applied a CSS reset for us. So there's no more mar or padding around the, the, um, the body and our headers, uh, they are no longer uh, bold or like a larger font. So that's really interesting. So I see that it applies the CSS reset as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. All right, All so right. this is good. So we're gonna close this, close this and close this. And in here now, I think we wanna add some, some components. So I'm not super familiar. So if it's cool with you, I'm gonna jump into the docs and look at what Let's components they have. Um, let's see. There we go. And chakra. So we're getting started. We're gonna. I'm gonna skip this. I'm just gonna go to the components. We could deal with theming, you know, another time. 
We don't the, even know uh, yeah, what Daddy CZ, like. the, the video for the stream will be available on uh, in the Twitch VODs later, uh, so you can look out for that. And uh, I don't know, Kurt, if you're planning on doing anything else with the, the Twitch VODs, like uh, I highlights am. or anything like that, but maybe you can speak yeah. to that. Yeah, so um, uh, the videos and highlights will be available on Twitch for like up to however long they let us have them. I think it's like 30 days, but I've also uh, will be uploading all of these to YouTube and there will be a YouTube playlist on the Apollo GraphQL channel with each stream name. Um, so there'll be a whole channel or playlist for Launchpad, for Orbit and Mission Briefing. Uh, and then as well as that, I also, there'll be a quick tips playlist where all highlights from all the streams will get applied. And so then you can go through and find them. Great. Yeah. Yeah. We want to make this as much available to you as possible. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So we we're over here. So the first thing I'm concerned about is we have an H1. So I want some kind of title. I imagine you just, uh, just passed it. Uh, we're looking for a heading in this case. Heading. Oh, right. That makes sense. That's what we're after a heading. I should have went a little slower. I am a heading. I love it. So let's go ahead and grab this. All right. We've got our heading. Oop. Cool. Yeah, let's jump back here. Oh, look at 